The CF Workout Warriors of the Month is a program started to highlight those people living with cystic fibrosis, who are role models, who advocate and spread awareness by promoting exercise and a healthy lifestyle in the cystic fibrosis community. To Tim O'Grady, there is no such thing as limitations. Diagnosed with CF when he was just three years old, Tim has laughed in the face of adversity and bulldozed his way through obstacles to live a life he's always imagined. There are some people in my life today that don't know I have CF. It's just, you know, it's not something I open with. I don't look at it as something that I need to frankly hide, nor do I need to let everybody know either. Tim, who was a healthcare executive, never stopped moving as a kid, playing every sport during every season. He didn't have time to feel sorry for himself, even as he was down in nearly 30 pills a day. He did what he had to do and never complained. I don't ever remember hearing him complain about the pain, and I know he was in pain. He just soldiered on, that's all he did. And uh, with a smile on his face, always smiling. A resident of Manasquan, New Jersey, Tim attended Mount St. Mary's University in Maryland, where he found a new passion, rugby. He played it throughout his college career and continued to be a force on the men's circuit back home in New Jersey. He's impressed those around him with his competitive spirit and drive. Every interaction I've had with Timmy in my life as a teammate, uh, a friend, uh, and as a brother-in-law, Timmy's just a leader um, no matter what. You know, when we would play rugby, you know, Timmy was always the smallest guy out there. Uh, and that was never an obstacle for him. He was out there to hit the biggest guys out there and take hits from the biggest guys out there. So growing up, uh, a lot of us who haven't been able to, you know, fully digest our food and everything else, we tend to be smaller people. You know, you're too short, you're too slow, you're not strong enough, are all things that I've heard and can't control, frankly. But I can control working hard, getting up earlier than everybody else, doing those things. One of the things on Tim's bucket list was running the New York City Marathon with the help of his wife, Sheila, a veteran runner who completed the most famous marathon in the Big Apple several times. Tim got after it in the fall of 2019. I wanted to be a part of it selfishly because I knew it was going to be incredible. So I invited myself along on training runs and as a marathon runner and a support system and, you know, his wife and um, he gladly obliged, so um, he didn't stop running. I mean, I don't, if the distance was 12 miles, 18, 20, he did not stop. In the best shape of his life, Tim ran the marathon to honor his sister Erin, who died of CF at an early age. On a picture perfect day, Tim earned his medal in the New York City Marathon. It was pretty surreal. It was very, very cool. Um, it was uh, very difficult. You don't realize how hilly that last section of New York is. I didn't, you know, as almost a local New Yorker, it's, I never realized. Um, but it was, it was incredible. I was, I was glad to do it. And then when I first crossed, I thought I did it and I'm never doing another one again. But uh, it was very cool. It was another cool moment for Tim in a lifetime of them. He has done all the things that would make any parent proud. He's highly successful and has raised a beautiful family. He's great man, great father, a great individual, and I think a great example for other, especially younger people who have CF, to see what you can really do and not let the disease define you. There isn't anyone who will ever be able to wipe the smile off Tim's face, and he credits the Boomer Esiason Foundation for helping making the lives of others afflicted with CF just a little bit better. It's incredible to have a spokesperson like Boomer Esiason, such a well-known name, but also somebody who's so incredibly invested in, in this because his son has CF, right? So it's it's been kind of cool and fun watching Gunner from afar, all this great stuff that he's done and what he's doing and now he's engaged and all that stuff. So it's been, it's been inspiring and uh, very thankful for, for what they've been able to do for, for the CF organization. This video series was made possible by support from DCU.